The human body is one piece of testimony for Allah's art of creation. Both the inside and outside of our body includes endless evidence for believing in Allah. We can easily see the excellence of Allah's work just by looking at the outer appearance of the human body. The symmetry of the human body requires two arms, two legs, a body and a head. This symmetry is made up of perfect ratios. Every human being has a body which is eight times as large as the head. Our faces are three times as long as our noses. The distance between our two eyes is the size of another eye. The ratio between our arms and legs was calculated in the best way possible. The human body is the most perfect machine in the world, and just like any machine, it displays the knowledge and capability of the power that designed it. The inside of the human body, too, is full of wonders. The human brain is made up of, on average, 10 billion nerve cells. These cells are connected to each other with 100 trillion connections. Now, the number 1 trillion is far beyond our comprehension. To get a better grasp of how large this number really is, let's try to think of a giant region which is 30 times as large as England. If we assume that the whole of this area is covered with trees, and that each tree has 10,000 leaves on it, then the total number of leaves across this entire region is equal to the number of nerve connections in our brain. All these messages traveling to and from the brain travel at the staggeringly high speed of 320 kilometers per hour. The nerves between your brain cells and the rest of your body are like express highways used to convey information between the body and the brain. In short, our bodies are witness to a breathtakingly busy traffic each and every moment of our lives. Thousands of individual messages come and go between the body and the brain in the space of a single second. Between 100,000 to 1 million chemical reactions take place in our brains in just one minute. Even as you sit and watch this film, hundreds of messages are being shuttled between your brains and muscles with each thousandth of a second that passes by. These messages include information about what you're seeing. You're leaning backwards as you sit. Your understanding, what you watch, the beating of your heart, your breathing, the blinking of your eyes, your hair growing, your picking up smells, and your hearing. You would have to write out pages and pages of chemical formulas if you wanted to explain just one of these functions. Just one mistake in these formulas would have caused your body to lose its balance. You could have poked your fingers in your eyes while combing your hair, or stumbled and fallen while trying to walk. However, Allah has created man in such excellence that we can perform the most complicated tasks flawlessly. In return, we should give thanks to Allah for creating us. Each of our five senses, seeing, smelling, touching, hearing, tasting, is a miracle in itself. Humans know the outside world through these senses, a boon that makes things easy for us. 
The details we grasp through our five senses remind us once again of Allah's artistry in creation. All of the five senses are designed expressly to meet a human's needs. For example, our ears can perceive sound vibrations only within a certain range. This range is called the hearing threshold and it is ideal for everyone. If on the other hand we had extremely sensitive ears, we would have had to put up with all kinds of extraneous noises such as our own heartbeat or noises made by tiny insects. This would have been extremely annoying. The same fine-tuning has been applied to our sense of touch. The nerves under the skin which are sensitive to touch are designed and distributed in the best way possible. For example, in our fingertips, where we need the most sensitive touch, there are far more nerve endings than other parts of the body. For instance, there are far fewer nerve endings in areas such as the back, where they are not highly functional. Our skin might seem somewhat simple, but it's actually a very complex structure. It is formed by a number of layers and it has nerves for perceiving, circulatory channels, a ventilation system, and controls which adjust according to the temperature and humidity. Our skeletons are truly an epitome of flawless engineering, a masterpiece formed by 206 separate bones. The human body has an extraordinary capability for movement by using all these pieces connected to each other. Even robot hands designed by scientists and engineers in recent years have fallen far short of matching the standard set by the human hand. When we examine the bones that collectively make up our skeleton, we are witness to an excellent design. To appreciate this design better, let's look at an example from modern day technology. The scaffolding structure is used in the construction of large towering buildings. The support elements of the constructions made with this technique consist of many intersecting rods forming a scaffold. Buildings have been made much more durable through complex calculations made with computers. But the inner structure of our bones is immeasurably more complex than this man-made system. Due to their unique structure, our bones are extremely strong and yet light enough for comfortable use. The joints where our bones are connected to each other give ample evidence for creation. Joint surfaces exposed to friction are covered with a thin, porous cartilage layer. Underneath this layer is a lubricant. Whenever the bone compresses the joint, this lubricant gushes out of the pores and makes the joint surface slide as if on oil. Humans, due to this excellent design, can very easily perform a very large range and number of movements. All this serves to show that the human body is the product of flawless design. It is Allah who created this design. In the Quran, Allah calls on people to consider a singular fact. Look at the bones how we raise them up and clothe them in flesh. The heart is one of the most crucial organs of our bodies, and so it is placed in the safest area. It is placed inside our ribcage to provide protection against outside blows.
our hearts start beating while we're still in our mother's wombs, and they continue to beat 70 to 100 times a minute without ever stopping. They rest for only a half second between each beat, and the average heartbeat of a healthy person is 10,000 beats per day. Over the course of a lifetime, this adds up to 255 million heartbeats. Our hearts have four chambers, which help to pump oxygenated and deoxygenated blood to different areas of our bodies without mixing them with one another. All these chambers have their own valves which open and close with every heartbeat. And with all these elements, our hearts display a perfect design. This perfect structure shows us that the heart was formed by a creator. And that creator was Allah, who is the Lord of all the worlds. Allah says in the Quran, That is Allah, your Lord. There is no God but Him, the creator of everything. So worship Him. He is responsible for everything. Buttoning a sweater, writing or chopping food. We perform all these simple looking but complex tasks with our hands, which again are an embodiment of flawless engineering. The most important characteristic of a hand is that it can function efficiently in a large number of areas. Our arms have many muscles and nerves which serve to help our hands to hold objects firmly or gently. The human body has many sensitive balances. All these systems working together help us continue our vital functions without difficulty. What's more, we don't face any problems when our bodies perform these functions. We don't notice the food being digested in our stomachs, our hearts beating, the rush of blood flowing through our body. We don't even notice that we see or hear. There is a perfect system in our bodies, and this system runs perfectly. Our bodies are the creation of Allah, who puts everything in the universe into a set order. In the following verse, Allah tells people to ponder their own creation. O oh man! What has deluded you in respect of your noble Lord? He who created you informed you and proportioned you. <laughs> 